Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Sundays at Tiffany's. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beastons and every single Sunday I put up a motivating video to get you ready for the week ahead and one of my favorite videos to make that I make 90% of the time on Sundays are my get it all done videos because they include a little bit of everything, organizing, cooking, cleaning, you name it. Today's video is sponsored by Nutribullet. I've literally been using the Nutribullet since nursing school. It has saved my life in the mornings with smoothies and protein shakes, but also things like soups. You know, I just recently made a butternut squash soup where I use my Nutribullet. I use it all the time and it's such a time saver. I've even blended up things to make like pancakes in there, muffins in there, like you name it, the Nutribullet is amazing. The Nutribullet can literally do so many things, but what I'm even more excited for is that I got an upgrade. So what I got was the Nutribullet blender combo. So usually I just had the one single serve Nutribullet, which we use at least multiple times a week. You've seen them in so many vlogs. The kids love smoothies, or as I call them, shake shakes, but recently our family has grown. Ella is now enjoying shakes and things like that. So we've been having to make multiple batches, but now we have the larger blender. How beautiful is this? One of the amazing things about this Nutribullet is that you can effortlessly switch between the single serve or the larger blender. So if you're making multiple things at once, like I usually am, this size, you see you can just switch on here. Both of these fit the same base, so it's effortless. So that is definitely the most versatile Nutribullet. It's equipped with three precision speeds. So it has a pulse function and an extract program that offer full control at the press of a button. So whether you're making something just like a simple smoothie or soup for the entire family, 1200 watt two in one blender gets the job done. So I'm actually headed to the store to get a couple ingredients. If you've been following me or you're following me on Instagram or you know me here from YouTube, you know that we've been battling like a sickness for like the past two months. Like we had a stomach virus, like different types of colds. So I'm going to the store to get some ingredients to make an immunity boost smoothie. This Nutribullet came with a cute little cookbook and I'm just gonna show you a few of my favorite things that I found in here. So this one I'm really excited um, to make. I'll probably make this later on in the week because I just did a huge meal prep yesterday so I don't really need this right now but it sounds amazing. It's vegan tomato soup. All you do is put a 14 and a half ounce can of whole drained tomatoes, yellow onion, garlic clove, cashews, olive oil, vegetable broth and celery sauce. Literally just blend that all up and you have an easy vegan tomato soup. It looks delicious to me. Another thing that looks really good to me, I actually had something similar to this when I was in Ohio, but it's a mango margarita. This is also super simple. For this one, you just need frozen mango, orange juice, lime juice, tequila, and then you garnish the room with tahini, and you know I love that. One of the things that you'll see me make in this video I'm gonna attempt is to make my own almond butter. I've really been wanting to do that. I love almond butter. It's like great to like dip veggies and fruits in or even have it on a sandwich or toast. So I'm gonna be making that today along with our smoothies. And trust me, you'll be seeing a lot of this in my videos coming up because I love this. This evening after the kids eat their dinner, it's all gone like good little children. I'm going to make nice cream with them, which is also another recipe in here. And it's basically like a healthier ice cream. It's four frozen bananas, one cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, and then one fourth teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, that's all. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel the bananas and put them in the freezer for this evening so that we can go ahead and make that tonight for them. They're going to love it. They're gonna be so excited when they see their new larger Nutribullet. So like I said, we're gonna to head to the store. Um, besides cooking and things like that, I have some clothes to put away. And I just really have to get organized. Like I said, it, we haven't been well lately and things have kind of just gotten misplaced and out of order. So my hope for today, besides providing you motivation, is that I kind of like provide you motivation that makes you feel less overwhelmed. So not like, oh my goodness, I have this huge to-do list, but to be like, okay, I got this, I can get these things done that I need to get done. And for myself personally, my goal is tonight to be able to do a little bit of a pamper routine, which I'll include as well, and just relax because I haven't gotten to do that in so long. So I see the light at the end of the tunnel. 
All right, so we just got to the dollar store. I just wanted to take a little peek and see what Christmas items they had out just to get inspired for some DIYs or even just some fun stuff for the kiddos. I got them each their own Christmas tree this year. Well, one for each room. So one for Carter and Tanner's room and one for Ella's room. So I wanna see like what kind of cute ornaments they have here. I'll definitely take them um, to pick out their own ornaments as well at some point closer to Christmas. All right, so I just got home from the grocery store. I got everything we need for our immunity booster. I'm gonna go ahead and make that with Carter. I also wanted to say that I stopped at the dollar store to check out um, what Christmas decor they had out. They didn't have out like very much at all compared to other things I've seen on YouTube, but I'll just show you really quickly a clip right here. today um, as well probably right after we're done having our immunity boosters I'm gonna go through all of my Christmas decor in the basement and just like go through everything see what I have get rid of stuff declutter and kind of brainstorm for this year's Christmas decor so I'm doubling the recipe so I have a cup of mango one orange cup of carrots um, this is my little ginger chunk it says to use a half an inch um, I did a little bit bigger since I'm doubling that be using two cups of coconut water. I'm also going to be adding some like turmeric spice. I could not find fresh turmeric root, so I was a little bit sad about that. I searched everywhere. All right, so Chef Carter here loves helping mommy cook, especially making shake shakes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so first I need you to add in the orange. We're using the big blender because we're doubling our recipe. All right, we've got our orange in. Next, we need our carrots. I should probably mention that he's been waiting all morning to make this. He's so excited. He's such a little chef. You love helping mommy cook. I love it. Are we going to do ginger now? Next, we're going to do our mango. Good job. Okay. Now we're doing our two cups of coconut water. No little helper, you're so good. All right, add your ginger. I know you've been excited to add that ginger in there. Good job. All right, so that's all in here. I also wanted to mention that this has like little suction cups at the bottom. How cool is that? We're gonna hit the extract button. I love that the extract button like literally knew exactly how long to do it for and I was reading a little bit about nutrient extraction. So nutrient extraction is the process of breaking down plant foods down into tiny drinkable particles so your body can absorb them more efficiently. Well, let's see what Tanner thinks. I like it. You like it? Yeah. What does it taste like? Um, mango and fresh and <laughs> and orange and mesha and lemon and oh. lemon. Oh, you're such a good little taster. <laughs> it's good. I'm happy you like oh, it. Yeah. Okay, as you can see, I had a quick outfit change because Tanner spilled half of his smoothie on me, but it's all good. There's plenty enough room to have more. It's actually really good. Even my very picky husband who hates ginger enjoyed this, and it just feels like you're putting something good into your body, so definitely recommend this. Now, um, Chris took the kids to the park. We all played in the playroom for a little while, but he took them to the park. I'm just gonna clean up the kitchen. I mean, it's such a mess. Um, I also wanted to try making my own elderberry syrup. I went and got local honey and all the ingredients to do that. I'm still gonna be making my own almond butter and also just cleaning up the kitchen. I got myself some flowers when I ran to the store. Um, so yeah, let's do that and then we'll throw in some laundry and just get all of the things done. 
All right, I decided I wanted to just make one big mess all at once and then clean, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my almond butter right now. So you just need to put like some parchment paper or something down on your baking sheet, and we're going to be roasting four cups of almonds. So I'm preheating the oven for 400 degrees right now. And since these are unsalted, I'm just gonna add like a little pinch of salt. Put these 400 degrees for 15 minutes. All right, so now I'm just getting some things ready for my elderberry syrup. Um, I've heard so many amazing things about using elderberry syrup for like to stay. I've heard so many amazing things about using elderberry syrup for like staying healthy and for an immune boost, especially when you're using local honey with it. Um, there's just some there's just some great benefits to local honey when it comes to like allergies and things like that. So, let's see, this will be my first time making it. I've heard amazing things. Somebody even told me that um, besides getting rid of sickness in their house, it even helped her with mastitis. So I'm like, all right, let's try this out. My kids love the elderberry gummies, so let's see. Um, so right now I'm just zesting an orange. There's a million different recipes um, online. I'm just gonna be using my pressure cooker to make this, but I'll show you all the ingredients we need, but first, just zesting this orange. So I got my orange zested, and now I'm just going to get some juice out of there as well. All right, so our almonds are ready to come out. I'm gonna take them out, let them cool for 10 minutes, and then we're going to go ahead and make our elderberry syrup. It smells so good. All right, so we're gonna let those cool off for about 10 minutes. So now I'm just using my pressure cooker. I'm putting in two cinnamon sticks, about an inch of ginger, two cups of elderberries, I'm adding the orange juice that we did, and then the orange zest, and then six cups of water. So we're just gonna close this, make sure it's unsealing. And we're going to hit pressure cook for seven minutes. All right, so while we got all that stuff going on, that in the pressure cooker and then this uh, cooling off, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the dishes because there are quite a few dishes.
our dishes are done. Now let's make our almond butter. The almonds are all cooled off. I'm just gonna also be adding um, four tablespoons of coconut oil and a little bit of honey. And then we're just going to pulse four times to break down the almonds into uniform pieces and then select low. Once the mixture becomes more uniform, we're gonna switch the speed to high. Okay, so this is literally delicious. Oh my goodness. I just wanna eat the whole thing with this spatula right now. I'm gonna put it into my little jar here. I'm gonna leave the lid off because it's still cooling off, but oh my gosh, I just went like a spoon and I wanna just eat it. So good, like how easy was that too? Now back over to this and I'm just going to vent it. All right, and now I just have a little strainer over top of this little mixing bowl here. And I'm just gonna pour the elderberries and everything else right into here. Now I'm just kind of just like pressing the berries down to make sure we get all that good liquid out. Now that the elderberry is room temperature, I'm just adding a half cup of that local honey we talked about and I'm gonna stir that in. One good thing at the dollar store and that was these little jars. I have a feeling we're gonna have a lot more than needed for this and also I really need to invest in a funnel. This may not be pretty. Not a single drop. Watch now that I'm getting coffee I'm gonna spill this one everywhere. This is actually going to be the perfect amount of jars, so. Perfect. You're still cooling off, and it's just really funny. Like, you make elderberry syrup from scratch and almond butter from scratch. And then you make your kids buttered pasta and good old dinosaur chicken nuggets. <laughs> Mom life. All right, so while my little chicken nuggets are eating their chicken nuggets, <laughs> mommy's gonna make them. Mama ice cream. Does that sound yummy? Yeah. Mm. Tanner's mad because he wants chocolate ice cream. Mmm. <laughs> All right, so for the nice cream, I'm doing a half of this uh, recipe instead of a full recipe. So I just did, I had two frozen bananas, a little bit of vanilla extract, then a half cup of um, unsweetened vanilla almond milk. All right, so the Beast and Boys are going to blend their ice cream. Silence in the Beast and House. This never happens. All right, so it is 6.43. I still have a couple more things to do in the kitchen. Not too much, so I have to wipe everything down and vacuum. But right now, before the kids go to bed, I have to go put their clothes away.
are asleep. I actually fell asleep while putting them to sleep. Um, but I'm in the laundry room. I'm going to start a load of laundry before I finish up cleaning the kitchen just because I want to have time to be able to throw it in the dryer before bed. laundry in, all the rest of the laundry sorted. Now let's go wipe down everything in the kitchen. So the kitchen is done. I wanted to be in bed by now, but I just have this one last task to do before I take my bath and do my little self-care, and that is going through some Christmas decor, just so I can see what I have and get rid of things in time for like other people in my family to decorate with some of this stuff. All right, so this crate here is just all things that pertain to wrapping and cards and boxes and things like that. It's organized that, ribbons, bows, and then this is just all the kids' stuff that I found so far, like books and uh, Christmas plates and uh, little Christmas activities. This crate, I actually did a good job putting things away. It's just all wreaths and like little flowers and things that I like to put um, around the house, for, like all kinds of like floral things, stuff like that around Christmas time. So this box I don't need to go through right now.
put more of the kids toys and stuff in here this is just ornaments and I save our Christmas cards from every year like of our actual family um, and then these I'm going to get rid of these too because I ordered them individual Christmas trees for their room this I'm going to save um, along with all their little other ornaments on. If you're an OG, you probably know about these ornaments. We did Vlogmas last year, and uh, Carter, every single night, Carter and Tanner would open up their advent calendar that had these little ornaments in it, and every night Carter was waiting for Rudolph, and you guys were so excited when he finally got it. So I'm glad I went through that. I'm starting a giveaway bin for the things that we don't want. I still have a lot more Christmas stuff to go through, but it was nice to just do at least a small portion of it just so I know what I have. Um, some other things that I need are like I have plenty of like Christmas signs and little trees and knickknacks and things like that so that'll be the next thing that I go through. Um, but yeah I think it just helps when you're going out to buy new stuff to kind of see what you already have and also I just wish that I were my dogs Romeo and Rookie. Okay, so the washer is done. I'm gonna go ahead and switch the laundry and then it's time for my bubble bath. I've been dreaming about this for like a week now. I am just like really very run down, like mentally, physically. When you don't get sleep, like mentally, you just don't have like that great of a mental reserve. I've been emotional. Basically just feeling not myself. So I'm excited to just like have a breather really quick. Alright guys, I hope that you all enjoyed this get it all done video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I have new videos every single Tuesday and Sunday and every Wednesday on our family channel. And I just want to say a little reminder that although we're getting it all done, don't forget to take care of yourself as well and take a minute to yourself. So I'll see you in the next one and thanks again Nutribullet for sponsoring today's video. Whenever your heart is broken